Hey, big fella, it's your boy, B Webb, Westside Hoops TV. Hey, we got a great show for you this week. We got AAU head coaches Daryl Houston, Jimmy Burton, master trainer Mike Bragg, and on the scene interview with Shay Cotton. Hey, what up? We back, Westside Hoops TV. It's your boy, B Webb. Got a treat for y'all. I got my guy, Jimmy, here. City Stars! You know what I mean? Building, baby. Yeah, man. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it, bro. Man, tell them about yourself. Tell them what's going on. Oh, man, what's going on is, man, I'm just trying to get the kids better. Yeah. Who everybody forgetting about that's big time out here. You know, they got it all. We're from the youth, from the inner city of Los Angeles, Inglewood, California. All that's what we're trying to do is just represent them and get back to our people that don't got it. So all the big time people, just throw a couple little penny bags to us, penny sacks to us, man. That's all we want for these little inner city kids that can't afford to do all the travel and all the other stuff. We just want something to give back to this community, man, you know. Mm -hmm. I work for the city of Inglewood, so I know about community and giving back. I deal with the youth every day. So all we want is just a donation somewhere that can really help us in the inner city. Mm. Yeah, man, so it definitely uh, what you do and what we just talking to uh, Coach Houston, how you guys actually really right there, you know, grassroots right there with the kids. Um, what age groups are you dealing with right now? Uh, uh, we have like fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth for City Stars, just like City Ballers, man. We've been doing this for the last 14 years. Well, I'll take that back. I'll say 12. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do, grassroots. That's what we, we ain't trying to. Go all out our element. We're trying to give back to our community what we grew up in, you know. As players, as students, in the community, in the ghetto, in whatever you want to call it, in the inner city. Hmm. So you uh, just also give me like your, your uh, give me your feedback on how big um, a tool is basketball to these kids that you're actually mentoring and, and actually keeping off the streets and actually turning in the right direction. Well, actually, it's a big tool because if it wasn't there, where would they be? On the block, doing something, stealing something out of a convenience store, something that's set up for us to do that we ain't supposed to do. But it's for us to teach the kids right from wrong. Every kid out here is going to do wrong. It's up to the mentors, the guardians, to teach them the right way, you know. So kids don't know, you know. Mm -hmm. They don't know at all. It's for us to teach them, right? Nah, you don't do that. This is what you do. Just like coaching. Nah, you don't do that. This is what you do. Right. They don't know. Mm -hmm. They don't. We, we just. They just come in as a, on the basketball team to come join, but they don't know the process of learning the, how to play real basketball unless me, you, myself, Coach D Rock teach them. Just like any other kid growing up. Yeah. He not he don't know not to touch the the plug socket and that's what we say ah, 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 don't touch that right from wrong man at the end of the day hmm. all right and your program is like I said one of the other top tier programs in the city premier programs so what uh, what can the kid look forward to getting out of your program coming to the City Stars gym coming to that Inglewood gym what they gonna get out of there heart at the end of the day that's what everybody need to have. Just walking around in these streets. You gotta have heart. You gotta have pride about yourself. You gotta have confidence. So that's exactly, that's the three things that I'm going to guarantee you I'm gonna give to the kids. So Jimmy, give me your opinion on what's going on with the AU ball. It's dirty. <laughs> Simple as that. It's dirty. And I'm being a part of it. I've been for, for what, 11 years now? It's dirty because the simple fact is this. We, both of us, us, we can have a kid, we've been having since he was three or four or five years old, okay? You can have them all the way into that time where nobody knew them, mm. who they were. Now, they know how to dribble a little good now. Now they're doing everything, they can't be stopped now. And then guess what? Here come this new team with a name that had jumped over the grassroots programs well, that knew somebody, <laughs> that knew somebody. Now guess who they coming for? 
Your kids, you know, have since he was three, four, five years old, right? So what I say is dirty is about some of these parents get bought. You know, they get bought. They forget about who was there for them when they didn't have nothing. Who was picking their kids up. Who was picking their kids up. Wasting your gas. Who didn't know their kid? <laughs> what you do over there because you give it to the kids real. There's no sugar code and anything. You get right down to it, you know. And, and it's a good thing because now you give the kid. It's not all about, oh, good job, this and that. You really got to give these kids what they need, you know. They're not always going to get that rainbows and sunshine. You got to give it to them exactly know, how it is. You never know what kind of coach you're going to run into. There you go. To give them that variation on coach. And you, you know, uh, you, you, you bring to the table that aggressiveness, that coaching, but then you also know how to bring them back in if they, if they build them right back up. So that's something that I really like about your program because of, of that part of the, the aspect of the game. You're not letting these kids be soft. You're teaching them to be men. You're being a good mentor to them. And uh, again, man, I applaud your effort, Westside Hoops TV. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you coming out. Um, so tell them, like I said, what, what your practices look like, what, what you got going on. Like, how, how are you guys doing it? Well, right now, man, you know, everybody always degrade the youth, degrade the inner city, you know. We, we just, uh, youth programs, junior high and everything. But I didn't put in so much work. You done put in so much work. My fellow friend, D-Rock, childhood friend, done put in so much work. Yeah. I like to, I like to shock the world, you know. That's what I like to do. Yeah. So. People say that we, we're not relevant no more. All the kids is going to high school now, but every program out here got one of our star kids. We started from rising stars, city ballers, city stars. Everything is star. So every program out here got one of our kids. And they program will not float without one of our kids. So guess what I'm about to do? Guess what we about to do? That's the inner city kids. Yeah. We about to get all our kids back. That's what I like to hear, man. I'm on some Tupac stuff right now. <laughs> Shock the world, baby. Hey, but again, that's all the time we have for today. Man, it's been a pleasure with my guy Jimmy, City Stars. Oh! Out from this West Coast. She is right! Baby! Check that stuff with no more city. y'all we back Westside Hoops TV it's your boy B Webb and my bro right here Mike Bragg master trainer wellness coach uh man shoot what's good bro man what's going on man Nothing much. <laughs> hey it's all good hey um you a business owner now man talk, talk to him what's up I am yes um, um I started a company called Blue Fitness stands for Beast Link Up that's what the hat. So I started Team Blue to recruiting um, all new athletes, former athletes, trainers that's trying to be more inspired and changing lives and changing the world. Hmm, that's what's up. Um, bro, you, you, you looking real fit right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've you been on your game, bro. How, uh, how, what's the process been? Because you, you, you're an athlete, of course, um, background, you know, give us a little yeah, background. Um, yeah, sports. I'm a former athlete. Um, I retired from football in 2014. That was my last season when I decided that was going to be it for me. Um, I played in Kansas. I started in um, high school, you know, that was my first time ever playing tackle football, you know. So from there, I've been going on. I went to Cerritos College, junior college first, transferred from there to do track and football, you know. So I went to Texas A&M Kingsville, which made it a lot more windows to open. I broke school records. I was just creating a legacy for myself, you know, and that's where it all started. Right. So just my whole drive and determination kept everything going and growing. Mm -hmm. So uh, what made you want to get into fitness and, you know, uh, wellness? Um, honestly, I wanted to find something I can make a difference in this world and I wanted to, I've always been a person to like try to make somebody happy and inspire somebody doing something so I felt that being a wellness coach and personal trainer, that's the best way to change in their lives, not for a short game, you know what I mean? Because like, yeah, I play professional football, that was a quick fix, you know, that was like the drug of alcohol, of entertainment, just for a quick laugh or a quick, like, emotional change you know so when I started 
to do training, it was like, okay, I can change their life forever. That's awesome, bro, because, you know, health is our number one thing. We got to take care of it. What's us living these good lives and making money if we can't enjoy it with right. bad health? Right. So, you know, I, I really started um, really picking it up myself, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so you lost a little weight there, Yeah, huh? bro, I'm down 30. <laughs> 30 plus, you know what I mean, working hard. Games. Yeah. Um, so what can I do? You know, that that's where I want to start developing now is actually start, you know, toning and things like that. So what things can I do now that I, I've dropped and got the weight where I want to actually start at? Mm -hmm. what, you know, what would what, what, you recommend? Some, for um, some things you can do to, like, depending, my whole thing is always create a vision board for yourself. And what I mean by vision board is not just posting a bunch of different things. It's finding the ideal image you want to chase. So... I don't care if it's an Arnold Schwarzenegger body. Find an image of Arnold that just paint a perfect picture on here to show you that, oh, I'm on my way there. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's going to be the thing that's going to keep you going. So find and start your vision board, and that's finding the ideal image. And once you have that, it's setting your diet up, get your diet situated, and then everything else is going to follow. So uh, you, you mentioned diet. So what what things should like right now? Should I just go out and just go buy a bunch of green vegetables and eat nothing? You know what I mean? <laughs> not at all. I not just, at all. I can't eat. People think to get the body they want, they can't eat much. They got to do salad, blah, blah, none of that. Honestly, the ideal to create your ideal body is you got to constantly keep feeding your body. All right. So you have one of the top wellness and fitness programs on the West Coast. Um, what do you recommend for youth athletes? Because that's what we deal with. We have a lot of youth athletes who want to get to that next level. Right. What could you recommend for them to maybe get stronger, uh, quicker, um, maybe some of their flexibility? What things could you what recommend? What I recommend for, for athletes and up like like especially the younger athletes, our youth, because the generation has changed so much and the coaches and programs are not really designed for them to grow for themselves, only for that program. So I always recommend every athlete, every student out there in the game to always never let nobody tell you no and drive for what you want. No matter if you're five foot, four eleven, whatever your dream is, keep chasing it. So always be the one that's pushing yourself past that point. Like you gotta be your biggest critic, because yeah, you're gonna get your haters, but your haters can't affect nothing you have planned for your biggest goal, you know what I mean? So you gotta be your biggest critic. So no matter what they said, what you said to yourself gotta be worse than whatever they thought about, because you wanna be the best. I appreciate you coming out, you Thanks know what I'm saying? Being with us on the show. Me. Hey, gonna tell the people where they can find you at. You can find me on Instagram at DeBrag, find me on Twitter at TheRealMikeBrag, and you can find me on Snapchat at, at DeBrag. All right, go check your boy out. It's me, B Webb, Westside Hoops TV. See you in the next. Yeah, so I'm here with my boy, Coach Houston. Man, been knowing this dude for a long time. We go way back. So, uh, Coach, kind of uh, fill him in on, on what you do, what you got going on. Well, you know, I'm an AAU coach, man. I've been doing this since 2002. Um, right? That's right? All right. <laughs> I've been out here since 2002, man, getting it in. Um, now it's 2016, and um, I've been dealing with a lot of kids, you know, through my years. So you've been coaching. How, how long have you, uh, you know, when did you start? When did you start coaching? Well, I first started coaching is with this guy named Thaddeus. Um, he used to actually be Baron Davis' coach as well, Paul Pierce, Ta um, Tayshawn Prince, a lot of other guys. And he the one that showed me the ropes, really. And um, once he put me on with Team Select, um, it was another um, program that was ran by Baron, too, and along, was th along with Thaddeus. And, um, and back on Thaddeus, he the one started K Swiss. I don't know if you guys know about K Swiss. That's mm -hmm. what the program he used to run before Team Select, and that's where all the players actually came from, which the Paul Pierce's and all these guys. Um, once he put me on, I started dealing with him for a couple of years, and then I ended up dealing with Daryl Roper. It's another guy, it actually run Rising Stars, which is a program that's ran by Baron Davis. You know what I mean? And um, I did that for a couple of years. And I decided to do my own program, which is City Ballers. Yeah. And um, that's where I'm at right now. You know, um, I dibble and dab with the high school players a little bit at Fremont High School, um, a couple of other schools. But you know, my hometown is Fremont High School, and I'm um, outside of Los Angeles, California. That's the same school I went to to play basketball. 
Shout out to the Pathfinders, Pathfinder Love. Coach Sullivan, huh. Coach Young. I had a father, you know what I mean? I had a mom too, but that's because you have that don't mean you can't go the other way, you know what I mean? And through my lifetime, I went the other way, you know what I mean? And for me to be, go the other way, the way I did, and knowing how easy it could happen, I try to prevent that by dealing with the basketball and inner city kids and stuff like that. A lot of people don't like to deal with those kids because they hard headed and things like that, but it's all about mentoring and everybody don't want to mentor when they're dealing with this. It's not just about taking your kids and taking them out of town. You got to show them how to be men. You got to show them. So this is what I'll be doing in the process of me doing what I do. So it ain't just all about basketball. You're trying to teach these young men to be men. You know what I mean? And that's my part in this whole basketball era. I don't really care about all the other stuff. I just want these dudes, I don't want these kids to be the kids to rob my son or be the kid to put a gun on my kid. You know what I mean? I at least, I can't save everybody, but the ones that do want a little help or the ones I can't help, I'm going to help. You know what I mean? Yeah. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Trying to give somebody another opportunity. Some people, like me personally, I didn't have an AAU team to go to. I didn't have that in my community. So I try to bring that to my community, you know what I mean? And give them an opportunity to take them out of town and see different things. Cause once you start seeing different things, your mind start thinking different. Y'all, that's all the time we have for this week. I'm your boy B. Webb, Westside Hoops TV. I want to thank all of our guests that came out and represented. I want especially want to thank my guy right here, Coach Houston, for what he's doing for the community. And uh, I want to thank our sponsor right here, Body Armor. This drink is delicious. Y'all go out and get some. It's your boy B. Webb, supper time, Westside Hoops TV. Westside, peace. Basketball. It's more than a game. It's life. Hey, y'all, stay tuned for our one-on-one -on -one interview with Shea Cotton on his new documentary, Man Child, Westside Hoops TV.